Good morning, my Crafty Crafters. It's your Crafty Crafter, Peggy. And, of course, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, and I am up uh, doing a, a haul and a, a share and, and uh, all kinds of stuff. Of course, like I said, I don't get off work till 11 o'clock, so most of the time I'm up at 1, 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, and then I'll finally start going to bed. But uh, anyways, guys, earlier I had shared with y'all a little bit about what I was doing, and I didn't realize uh, that the lady that I'm doing this for's name was showing, so I kind of took that down. I'm going to redo this some, um, and I'm going to add my Walmart haul in here, too, so to keep it interesting for those of you that's already kind of seen this. Uh, like I said earlier, y'all see my cuddle bugs sitting here and stuff. I've been doing a book. Uh, for a friend of mine and uh, what it is is her daughter's grown now and she's had all of her little awards and stuff and uh, she just had them in a binder there and she you know thought that I would do a good job of uh, putting these in a book and she kind of thought I was just gonna put some background paper on here and and uh, put the awards down there and there you go and I said well you could do that you know what I mean I know I'm gonna try and do some frames and stuff and this is just what I've been working on. Uh, this one right here is her report card. And uh, I put a pull tab on it up here where they can pull it out. And I turned this into like a pop kit pocket. Bleh. I'm just kind of buzzing right along here. I really like this first page, y'all. What do you think about that? I like that little award page right there. I just think that's cute as anything. And I added some of these. Um, darn it, I was going to bring them in here too, I swear. Uh, they're like German Dresden papers, I think they are, these gold ones. They're trims on uh, vintage paper, and it's just like liquid gold. And then I trimmed the edges of this and stuff, some of that in the middle. Y'all see, I, I blocked her name, you know, that wouldn't be right. That's kind of why I redid this, because I wasn't realizing her name was showing. But anyways, I used some of those Dresdens on this one right here. And I'm um, just doing little ribbon pops and and uh, frames and stuff. This one says, you measure up. Uh, that was a reading award, I think. There's the principal's award. I just think some of these, I just wanted to make these just as cute. Now, I'm not done with them by no means, y'all. Uh, I'm just kind of progressing along with it. And just thought I'd let y'all in on what I've been doing. And uh, this is this is it. This is what I've been working on this week. And uh, like I said, I'm still not done yet. I really like this one, y'all. This has got a lot of that Dresden on there. This little gold trim that's around here. They're really beautiful. They're vintage. I love them. Absolutely love them. I got them on eBay, oh gosh, about a year ago. And I've just been, you know, nibbling with them and stuff. And I thought, you know what? This is a book full of awesome achievements right here uh, that this young lady had did all through her school and work. Of course, like I said, she's grown up now and uh, everything. And, and uh, you know, her uh, mom just thought this would be a nice little pass-me-down for her to have this book with all of her awards and stuff in it. And I thought, well, you know what? It's not going to be just a simple, you know, slide them in and go. I'm going to... Put some trims around there and some bling and some cute little stuff, you know. And then, guys, today in the mail, uh, I, I can't show these enough anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm just excited as anything. I love beaded trims, y'all. Oh, my gosh. These things are so fabulous. I got these in today from Michelle Card is her name on eBay. And um, $15 uh, and uh, some change. Uh, I paid for these with the little shipping and handling uh, for these gorgeous trims. And I just wanted to share these with y'all. I mean, these are just absolutely the most scrumptious. I love these trims. I mean, just look at that. I hope I'm catching that shimmer and shine on that boy. Mm, look at that. Woo! This right here just sends a charge to me, y'all. I love beaded trim. I I'll tell you. Whew, my first video, I even let out a little squeal. It was like, whew, God, I'm telling you what, I just love beaded trim. I, I'm always collecting it, and I'm getting it on eBay and stuff, you know, because uh, I like to get these, um, I look for the lots. Uh, whenever I put these in there, I'll do like uh, beaded trim lots. 
And I'll get these from these people who have several. Look at that one, guys. That you can get like that, like this one here I got today for $15, like I said. And I think it was like $0.67 cents or something shipping to handle. This one here, this is all beaded, guys. And uh, that looks like a Victorian collar to me. One of those choker collars. I just love that. I love beaded trim, y'all. I tell you, I wear it everywhere. I make necklaces out of this stuff and wear it. I put it in my hair. I... <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I do. I'm telling you. I, I said before I had to be an authentic gypsy in one of my lives because I am crazy about beaded trims. Look how gorgeous that is, y'all. I love that. I got a whole spool of that. Just look at that. Man, I'm telling you, there ain't nothing better ooh, than the beaded trims. I, I just love it. I, I just love to run my fingers through it. <laughs> like I said, I want to make jewelry out of it. I want to drape it all over me. I want to wear it. I just love beaded trim. I'm crazy about it, y'all. Oh, yeah, and then this piece right here, almost forgot the little uh, bridal one. I got a whole rack of that as well, this pretty pink. Oh, I just love it, y'all. Beads, oh, my gosh. I, I tell you, like I said, I, I need to organize my bead drawer in there and show y'all some of my beads back in the day. They said that you used to be the rich hootie do if you had beads. They used them like money. I said, well, I probably wouldn't have had none back then, you know. But now I would be the rich hootie do because I've got some pretty cool beads, y'all. I, I collect them. And uh, I went ahead and popped by the clearance aisle at Walmart today, and I come up with these. And I, I had to have these. They had these for a dollar uh, mixed in with all their stuff. They're really starting to mark it down and get rid of it. I think they're fixing to bring out the Christmas gift sets and stuff. So they need that space. And these here are really nice, y'all. Listen to those. Uh, those are porcelain, I want to say. Those aren't the little plastics. I just love them. I thought those would look great for Halloween on the book. And then I found these earrings over there. Uh, these were three dollars, and I really like them. And I said I'll either wear these or I'll put them on a craft. More than likely, they'll probably wind up on one of my mini albums or something, you know. I found a couple of these that they had over there. Uh, they were actually a quarter last mark down. They had on these was three dollars. The uh, breast cancer awareness pins, beautiful blings. I love those. Those two will be done uh, in a breast cancer book. I think I'll probably work on one of them. And then uh, for 50 cents, again, I wiped them out, y'all. I do it every time. If I find that price, boy, 50 cents, man, I'll tell you what. I'll buy a few, two, three dollars. You better believe it. I wiped them out of the uh, pink glitter uh, skulls. Y'all remember these? I threw a set of these in our drawing. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six more sets, y'all. I'm just going to throw them in the, in the box in there, and we're going to have at them. And then they were marking down, they're resetting the uh, scrapbook aisle, y'all. Like I was saying, heads up, all y'all uh, scrapbookers out there and stuff. Uh, paper people, Walmart just got done marking it all down. You better get it, too, because I'm going to tell you what, they had this, and it was gone quick. I had squirreled, <laughs> I had squirreled this away and walked around the store there and uh, come back again, and the rest of these were gone. So they had marked these down to $5.00. They generally go for 10, and uh, these are their double-sided papers. This is the Homespun by Colorbot, and that's what this one looks like. And I like to load up on these guys for them one-page minis that I showed y'all. This is the perfect paper, and I really, I mean, I hate to be like that, but I really don't care much for the plain single-sided paper. I mean, it's too thin. And flimsy, I just, I don't like it now that I'm I'm doing uh, more scrapbooking and stuff. I've realized it's harder to work with because it's thinner, it's cheaper, and that's it. And I've learned, you know, you do get what you pay for with a lot of these papers. But I do like the color box double-sided. I will use these on those one-page minis. Like I said, these are perfect for that. And at five bucks a rig, I mean, yeah, right? I'm definitely going to soup that up. There's 50 sheets, 50 double-sided sheets. So if you guys' store is running clearance too, I would suggest get over early in the morning because if you don't, these are going to really be gone if they're not gone today, I'm telling you. And then I got the uh, Fiesta one. 
That second one I did you was Hopscotch. That's Hopscotch by Colorbach. And this is by Colorbach too. This one's called Fiesta. And that's what that one looks like. And I just love these. Like I said, these are perfect for the one-page minis. I mean, they stand up pretty good. So, I have no complaints on the double-sided. But the single-sided, yeah, color box people, I have a problem with it. I do. It's too. It's just too thin. It really is. To do mini albums and stuff, and that's most of us are using it for. <coughs> so, a heads up there, guys. Then I went ahead and got another... One of these Frozen's, while they still had some of them, I've, I'll probably do two or three mini albums out of these, depending on the size of them. At least two. But uh, I thought these would be cute, and whenever I get the shop up and running, I figured I'll just go ahead and pop a couple of these cute little uh, Frozen books in there and stuff. You know, some of the little girls are still uh, loving the Frozen, and they're of the age now that they're enjoying mini albums and scrapbooks, and I really love that. I really encourage the youngsters, get involved, y'all. Uh, if you see me out there, uh, please get on here and check out some of my crafters. I'm telling you, I've got some really, really good people. Uh, check out my playlist, even. I've got great tutorials saved over there. Uh, my playlists uh, of uh, awesome minis, I think, is the header of one of them. It's just loaded with beautiful mini albums from these crafters, you guys. And, I mean, some of the creations they come up with is sensational. So, people I'm learning from. So, anyways, guys, that's it. Uh, those of you that saw this before again, uh, sorry about the repeat there. That's why I went ahead and added my haul on in here that I got tonight. So, I had to give you all something a little extra to look at there. And get you going on these beads. Ooh, the beads, y'all. I love these lovely beads. Oh. Anyways, y'all, until next time, if you're a new subscriber, stick around. Uh, the Old Country Bucket plans to have a lot of fun this year. Uh, just like now, I'm running into my pots and pans. So, in fact, uh, this weekend, y'all, I'm going to get on here and show you how to make my 7-Up biscuits. You're going to love them. Anyways, until next time, y'all, see you later. Take care and bye-bye.